loves welcome back to my channel so today I was really in the mood to film a tag video for you guys it's been a while since I've done one and I always like to do these on my channel because it gives me a chance to show you guys another side of me besides from the makeup and fashion and stuff like that I always like to get a little bit more in depth with other topics just so you guys can see my personality and get to know me a little bit better so I asked you guys on my Facebook fan page what tag you wanted me to do and a lot of you guys said the beauty scenario tag so one thing I'm glad about is that this tag only has eight questions. So a lot of the tags that I do have something like 50 questions and they end up being like half an hour long. So let's see if this one can be on the short side. So again, there are eight questions and I'm just going to jump into them. So the first one is, you have to get rid of all of your foundations and you can only keep one high end and one, I was gonna say low end, one high end and one drugstore foundation. Which ones would you keep? So this is kind of a no brainer for me because I have fallen in love with a foundation and I'm not really a high end foundation type of girl. A lot of you guys know that I like to keep the majority of the makeup for my tutorials drugstore just because I feel like it's more accessible to most of us. A lot of girls that watch my channel are really young and I feel like you can get the same look for the most part with drugstore foundation that you can with higher end foundation. So with that being said, I've fallen in love with a high-end foundation. And if I'm gonna fall in love with a high-end foundation and use it every single day, it has to be amazing because that's a little bit of an investment, especially if it's something that you're not only gonna be using on special occasions. So, okay, I'm rambling, I'm trying to justify this in my head, but the high-end foundation that I have fallen in love with lately is the Sephora Airbrush Foundation. They actually reformulated it, so this is what it looks like now. This is about $26, I believe. I use it every single day. I've used it about 15 times so far with no problems, so I don't know how much longer it's gonna last me, but it feels like there's a lot in here, and I feel like as long as I get like 40 uses out of it, it kind of justifies that bigger price tag. I love this stuff because it lasts all day long on my face. It's so easy to apply. I just spray it on my face and then I just pat it in. Um, I do have a review on this and a couple of get ready with me videos using this, so I will try to link them down below. I just love this stuff so, so much. And again, if I have fallen in love with a high-end foundation, you know that it has to be like out of this world. So I cannot recommend this enough. Now, the lower end foundation or the drugstore foundation, I forgot to grab from my room. But I would definitely say the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. I again have um, a review on that, tutorials using that, and it's something that just lasts all day long on my face. I hate putting on foundations on my face that get oily midday or don't last because I'm not the type of person to touch up my makeup at all throughout the day. So I would definitely say the Sephora Airbrush Foundation as my high-end pick, and for my drugstore pick would be that CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. So that is the first question. Now the second one. You go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? Um, first of all, I'm the type of person that I always get lipstick on my teeth, I guess because I have big teeth. And <laughs> Do I have lipstick on my teeth now? No. You don't know how many videos I've filmed that I have lipstick on my teeth and then I have to refilm the whole thing. But anyway, I would probably say that I'm the type of person not to say anything. Um, just because, especially if I'm interviewing, I don't want to kind of offend the person or make her feel embarrassed or make her not like me in any way. So I would probably say that I'm the type of person just to ignore it, um, try to avoid staring at it because I know that when someone has lipstick on their teeth, your eyes go straight to that area. So I would try my best to ignore it and probably just not say anything and then hope that after the interview, she would just hope that I didn't notice it. So yeah, I probably would not bring it up at all. Number three, you're not feeling yourself and need a pick-me-up. What lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? I definitely would say a bright lipstick. This one right here is one of those lipsticks that when I put it on, I feel like it just brightens up my face. And when I have bright lipstick on, I just feel in a better mood for some reason. So this is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Fireball. I actually filmed a video yesterday where I swatched the whole collection on my lips. There's a lot of bright colors in it and nude colors. I'll link that down below. But this is a gorgeous red, orange, coral color, and I'm really into coral colors right now. Uh, my last trend that I went through was pink lipsticks and then nude lipsticks, but right now I'm really feeling the coral type of shades, whether they're nude corals or bright corals like this. So I really love this lipstick, but 
You guys know that I'm not the type of person to wear bright lips every single day. Sometimes I feel a little bit overdressed. I know you guys always love when I wear bright lipsticks. So I'm trying to do it a little bit more, trying to get comfortable to wearing um, bright lipsticks in like out in the public because I feel like when I go food shopping and stuff, I don't know, I just feel like it looks a little bit much even though the rest of my makeup is really understated. However, I'm just being honest with you guys. So for a daily basis, I really love using a peach lipstick that's a little bit on the brighter side, but not as bright as this. And this is um, Wet n Wild 903C. It's their matte line, I'm, and it's just a um, matte peachy color, but it's not a nude peach. It's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like a pastel peach. So I love wearing this on my lips, and then to top it off, the NYX Butter Gloss, um, gloss in the shade Apple Strudel, which is just a gorgeous, it, it is um, a coral type of shade, but it's like a neon sheer coral. It's the hardest thing to describe. It looks so gorgeous on the lips. If you guys can only afford to get one of these butter glosses, which they're like $3 at Ulta, pick up Apple Strudel. I promise you guys that you will not regret it. It's the most gorgeous color ever. Okay, uh, I lost my spot. Hold on, my phone, I have to unlock it. Number four, you go back in time for a day to your teenage years, how would you do your hair and makeup differently? Holy crap, guys. Uh, if you knew me in high school, you would know that I was like the makeup girl and not in a good way. I wore entirely too much makeup. Uh, I would wake up at about 5 o'clock in the morning just to spend an hour on my makeup and I went to school thinking that my makeup was so on point that it looked so great and then I see pictures and my friends tell me stories now and I'm like, why did nobody tell me when I was in high school other than my mom? My mom always used to talk to me about my makeup, but I just kind of didn't listen to her because I was, you know, I was young, I was a teenager, I thought that I looked good, so I did not listen to anyone. I used to wear so much eyeshadow, colorful eyeshadow, that I think that's why now I don't really wear that much eyeshadow. I feel like I kind of got it out of my system. I used to wear rainbow eyeshadow, a smoky eye, like a silver and black smoky eye was my signature look for every single day and eyeliner. I used to love eyeliner, but not on the top at all. I would only line my bottom rim, like my waterline, and then go underneath it, like all the way up to almost like the bag of my eye. Seriously, you guys, I used to wear so much eyeliner, and I even remember there was one time that this girl came up to me in school, and she was like, oh, I think that the rain outside like smudged your eyeliner on the bottom. And I knew what she was talking about. I do that. I used to do that on purpose, like bring my eyeliner really, really low down, and it would make my eyes look like really droopy. I don't know what I was thinking, guys, but my makeup was horrible, horrible, horrible in junior high. I don't even have any pictures of it. I would spend so long on my foundation. Um, my mom used to laugh at me because I would apply like the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Foundation and in stripes, and I just thought that was the way that you used to apply your foundation. So I put a stripe, pat, 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 a stripe. Pat, 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 stripe. So until I had like 10 stripes on my face, I mean on my cheek, and then I would do this side, same thing on my forehead. So my foundation alone would take me like 20 minutes in the morning. And my mom was like, you know that you can just put a dot on all the sides of your face and then just buff it out? And I was like, no mom, I want good coverage. <laughs> it was crazy. I, I really, I don't know what I was thinking when I was in junior high, but yeah, I would do everything different basically. The next question is number five. You ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut, but they hear wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you A, smile, say thank you, leave and call your mom hysterical, B, cry in the chair and things get awkward, or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund? Definitely A, this has happened to me many, many times. I would just not say anything. I'm the person that sits in the chair like, oh my God, yes, I love it so much. And then I will go home and cry. Um, I actually, I haven't gotten my hair cut by a professional in about two years. I do it myself now just because I don't want to risk getting a really bad haircut. I have had someone one time cut my bangs so, so short, and then he was like, oh, that's the new trend. It's a trend to have really, really short bangs, and they were shorter than my eyebrows. Like, they didn't even hit my eyebrows. It was hideous. I had to wait for that to grow out. I have had so many people cut off so much off of my hair, and I have gone home crying, and even one time getting my eyebrows done, which you guys know I don't let anyone touch my eyebrows, but my sister was, the, my older sister was the one who got me into doing my eyebrows in the first place, so she used to tweeze them for me, and I remember one time that she tweezed them so like far apart 
and I was just like oh my gosh yes I love them and then I went home and I cried because I had really far apart eyebrows and <laughs> I'm the type of person that I just won't say anything I will pretend like I love it and then I'll go home and cry so yeah number six is your friend surprises you with a four-day city break and you have one hour to pack which do it all palette do you have to pack in your makeup bag um, I would definitely say my Lorac Pro to go because that includes eyeshadows, bronzers, blushes, basically everything that I need and then I'll just need to bring a foundation, an eyeliner, a mascara and a lipstick along and I have everything. Number seven, your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everyone is safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. I would be so upset. What is a product you really hope is safe? I would say, I was trying to think of like my most expensive makeup product because I don't know, I think that's the only way I would be really, really upset about losing something or getting something stolen from me. So I would say my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is 50 something dollars, um, but it is the most amazing primer ever. It makes my face basically waterproof. I will be using this for my wedding and this is going to be pre-filmed to go up during my wedding. So maybe my wedding already happened by the time you guys are seeing this video, but I love this primer. It makes my makeup bulletproof. It lasts through the most hottest, sweatiest, humid days or cold days where it's raining and snowing. This is the most amazing primer ever. But if I'm being honest, like my one most important makeup beauty item is my teeth whitening kit because I feel like I can have absolutely no makeup on, but as long as my teeth are really bright and white, I just feel like it just, I don't know, it makes me look healthy and I'm a lot more confident that way. So definitely my Smile Brilliant Teeth Whitening Kit. This is the only kit that I've used that has given me such dramatic results in seven days. I have a full video on this and a demo that I actually showed you guys on Richie, his before and after, which were also extremely dramatic. I love this kit so much. You use it one time for seven days and then just one night a month overnight to kind of maintain your results and I would be really upset if this got stolen from me uh, because I use it so much and I really do love it. And the very last question is your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you A just pretend you haven't noticed, B ask them to repurchase it or C secretly do the same thing to something of theirs? Uh, I definitely would say A just pretend um, that I didn't notice and not say anything because I really don't think that makeup is more important than ruining a friendship. I have so, so much makeup that it's really just not that important. It has happened to me before and I'm just the type of person I, I won't say anything. I don't like confrontation at all. It takes so much out of me to have to confront someone and create like drama and controversy. I hate that more than anything else in the world. So I definitely am the type of person that I would just not say anything. And that is all of the questions, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. Make sure to let me know any other tags that you would like me to film down below because I find it so fun to film tag videos and talk about something other than makeup on my channel so again I hope that you guys enjoy feel free to request anything down below thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Mwah. bye